Hello everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I'll talk about Face Chain, a new model powered by Model Scope for creating your digital twin. So you could see here in GitHub page, it says that it's actually a deep learning tool chain for generating your digital twin with minimum of one portrait photo. Let's see some more details. So you could see here, uh, here they have just used two input image and they were able to train the model in such a way that they are able to generate such high quality portrait images. And it goes same over here. To train our digital twin, we'll be using a Hugging Face uh, Gradio demo, uh, which is free. So let's go ahead and search for uh, Face Chain, and you'll find this is under Model Scope. So let's go ahead and click on this. If you find this as uh, slow, you can always go ahead and duplicate this space uh, from here, which cost around three point one five dollar uh, for one hour, and but it doesn't take so much. You'll be able to finish everything within an hour. So over here, we can upload our photo and then that will be used for training you can use minimum of three or maximum of ten uh, this is the range you should use and then you can click on training and it takes around 15 minutes but uh, it should be done within actually seven to eight minutes it doesn't take around so much time and then we can uh, go to inference tab and start generating images so let's go ahead and upload our photos so i'm using a uh, total five images here uh, and it ranges uh, little variations are there okay these three images are kind of same hairstyle and everything and these two have a kind of similar uh, look okay so you can just select all of them and click open so as per the instruction it says that you know we should wait uh, once all the images are loaded properly so that's great uh, we can go ahead and click on start training now so you'll see that uh, please wait uh, for the training to complete once it will be completed, we'll get a message and then we can go ahead and start creating our images. So our model is trained. Looks like it's done. So let's go ahead and start generating images now. We'll go to inference. We will select digital identity. This will be selected by default and the model will be selected in the backend. We don't have to do anything. And we have, there are two different styles. I'll go with default here and I'll go with working suit expert and I'll just update this. Let's go ahead and click on start let's have a look at the results so results are really good i must say that you know with six image and and training time for only five to ten minutes this is quite impressive you know let's have a look at the second one third one fourth so i regenerated the photo once again and i must say that you know images are really great once again all of them are really good and this time i've just changed the prompt little bit uh you know dressed in white casual blazer monochrome backdrop and there are little bit enhancement done in the prompt let's see what we are able to get this time so this time again um, the results are really good um, i could see that you know it has taken up the prompt nicely so let's select armor this time so after selecting this uh, you will see the prompt will be populated uh, once again so we'll just go ahead and click on start so results are ready let's have a look so images looks really nice so there is another way you can run this uh, by using uh, Google Colab Notebook. So if you click on this link, it will take you to the GitHub page of Model Scope where you can uh, read more about uh, Model Scope face chain and uh, other details. So if you come to GitHub page, uh, you'll find, you know, this is a link for um, Hugging Face. And at the bottom over here, you have something called Open in Colab. If you click on this, it will take you to Google Colab. Uh, but uh, something you have to uh, note that it will not work on uh, free tier you can actually use it it may break uh, for sure shot because you get uh, 15 gb of gpu uh, in free uh, tier but this is something which is required at least 19 gb right so when you run you may uh, run into error uh, if you're using free tier but if you have a collab pro you can certainly run this and start creating images over here uh, there is no need to use hugging face or uh, you know duplicate the space in hugging face okay so that's great and then we have uh, details about people uh, how this thing has been implemented and what is the logic behind uh, this so you could see that you know once we input the image it's extract the face details and then it adds the refined tags on top of that and then there are some lora weights added on the back end and using that it creates the image so Normally it works only, it focus only on the face data. And there are some more details. Uh, I'll link the details in the description of the video and pinned comment. You can take it from there. 
If you like this video, hit the like and subscribe button, share it with your friends, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.